y'all it's Brianna and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I detangle my type 3 hair using finger detangling a white tooth comb and a brush please be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that red button down below I make videos about curly hair trying new products doing different hairstyles and giving you guys tips on how I got my hair from damaged to healthy so let's get straight into the video so right now my hair is freshly washed and has nothing in it, no product, and I'll be showing you guys three different methods how you can properly detangle your hair. And just a disclaimer, this is what works for me personally. I have type 3 hair, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will insert a photo of the different types of curly hair. But basically, I think I have about 3B or 3C hair, and so what works for my hair type may not work for yours, but generally this is how most people I know who have naturally curly hair go about detangling. So just to get started with detangling, you can either detangle in the shower or outside the shower. And usually I will detangle my hair in the shower. I'll wash it, put conditioner in it, and while I'm in the shower, I will go through and either comb it, brush it, or use my fingers depending on which method I want to do. But the thing about detangling your hair in the shower is that if your hair takes a long time, it can be very wasteful because the water is just running while you're doing your hair so if you pay for your own water bill that can definitely affect that so I found lately that I'd like to detangle my hair outside the shower just because it's less wasteful and I can really take my time and not feel like I have to rush to detangle my hair so that's why today I'm going to be showing you guys obviously the outside of the shower method so the three different ways I'm going to be showing you guys how you can detangle your hair are using a wide tooth comb using a brush or simply just using your fingers. So let me suction my hair to get started. So I find it easier to detangle my hair in sections and depending on how thick your hair is will determine kind of how many sections or if you even want to do sections. Some people may just be able to take half of the hair and straight detangle it, but for me it's a lot easier to do smaller sections. So this is the size section that I grabbed to start off with and first things first is you want to get your hair wet. So you don't want to detangle your hair when it's dry because it will just get frizzy and it'll break off and so you want to get your hair damp or soaking wet to detangle. For that, since I know that my hair is going to be wet and dripping, I'm going to take a towel just to wrap around my shoulders so that my shirt doesn't get too wet. So you also want to use some type of product, a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, a detangler so that you aren't just doing it when your hair is dry and also your hair can soak up that moisture while you're detangling your hair. So I'm just going to be using this from Curls, it's the Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream just to use as a detangler slash leave-in. So method number one is wide tooth comb. You want to start from the ends of your hair and gently work your way up, taking out any tangles and any knots in your hair. So you know that your hair is detangled when you can easily glide the comb through your hair from the root to the tip without any snagging or pulling and your hair just feels nice and smooth. So sometimes when I use a wide tooth comb after I use this one that has more space in between each tooth I like to take a 
um, thinner wide tooth comb. Well, I guess it's not really a wide tooth comb. So I take a comb that the tooths are um, closer together and go through just to make sure I get any smaller tangles that might have slipped their way through this one. And again, just start at the ends and do the exact same thing if you want to use a smaller one. So for this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how I detangle using a brush. This is the Ultimate Detangler from Tangle Teaser. I picked it up from Ulta, I believe it's about $15, I'll have it linked down below. And like it's, it's called the Ultimate Detangler, so it is designed to detangle your hair. Um, please excuse all of my hair in here, but this is what this brush looks like. So I'll take this brush and start from the ends, work my way up. Something that's good about using a brush is that it's kind of easier just to run through your hair and it's a little bit quicker, but the con is that it can be a bit more rough on your hair if you're just snagging it through. So um, typically, I like to use this brush after I've gone through my hair with a wide tooth comb, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just do this section just with the brush. So I want to be very gentle and not pull my hair out. So once you get past the initial difficult part going through the tangles, the brush will easily glide through your hair. And also something about using a brush compared to a wide tooth comb is that your curls will dry a bit different. Um, kind of this is like the same as the Denman brush, it just makes them more defined, more bouncy, and it will have a bit more shrinkage. But this is detangling your hair using a brush. And there are tons of other brushes you can use. There's a wet brush, brushes from different brands, like I said, the Denman brush. And so this has been my favorite so far, um, as far as detangling. So the third method I'll be showing you is finger detangling. So this takes the longest because like it sounds you have to go through with your fingers and detangle your hair, but it is the least damaging because it's very gentle. You can go through and actually feel where the tangles are and gently pull them apart and run your fingers through them instead of just scraping a brush through it. So it is better for your hair because you have less shedding or for me personally, but it does take a bit longer. So kind of the same thing. I like to start off just pulling apart larger sections and feeling for any tangles. And then I kind of just like to do that method and just pulling apart my hair, running my hair down my, um, running my hands down my hair to fill for any tangles. And then I even kind of use my hands like a wide tooth comb and just gently pull them through my hair. And as you can see, as you're pulling your hands through your hair, you can feel where there are tangles and then you can isolate them and very gently pull them apart. So of course, if you don't have access to any special detangling brushes or maybe you're somewhere and you forgot your wide tooth comb or your brush, then you can always just use your hands. So those are three different ways that you can detangle your naturally curly hair. I typically use a combination of those three just depending on what works best for me or what I'm feeling like using, but the wide tooth comb is definitely a staple and something that I nearly always use. And detangling your hair is very important because if your hair has knots in it or isn't properly detangled, it's not going to look good, it's not going to be healthy, and sometimes if you let your hair get super matted and super tangled, it might be so far gone that you have to cut 
cut it out which I've had to do before when the knots are just too much that you just have to cut it so detangling your hair is super important and let me guys show you what a section of detangled hair versus non detangled hair looks like and also product versus no product so this is no product not detangled versus product and detangled and detangling your hair also allows you to evenly distribute product throughout your hair. If I were to just wet this and just throw on my leave-in conditioner it wouldn't get all of my hair strands and it just wouldn't be evenly throughout my hair. So detangling is very important to having a good curly hair day. So I'm going to do the rest of my hair off camera and come back and show you what my hair fully detangled looks like. And this is what my hair looks like fully detangled. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe down below and give this a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.